YouTube welcome to a video about this my Chapman ML3 modern from the first generation is that what they call it before they split the brand into uh, standard and pro so this is just the ML3 modern it's got humbuckers weighs a ton big thick piece of wood built in the Indonesian factory I believe where they now make the pro models I believe the standard models are in China. Could be wrong, let me know if I'm wrong. Anyway, bought it, loved it, but I thought the sound isn't quite there for me. So back in the day, I took out the Chapman passive aggressive humbucker, so I've got that on somewhere, replaced it with a Chapman henchman. I believe it's like the Rebeer model guitars, I think. It was on eBay going cheap. I thought that's interesting. Let's sort for Chapman for Chapman, keep it Chapman because uh, the passive aggressive was a bit too raspy for me it was a bit too it wasn't very smooth so i got this and yeah it, there was a difference there was a difference and it was smoother more refined pick up better better fast forward a few years and i buy the amp there the pv6505 plus First thing I do, plug in my um, ESP LTD Viper with the EMGs and oh, I sound like machine head was my initial response. <laughs> I then plug this in and uh, I realised I didn't like the pickup anymore. <laughs> I was like, I, I want EMGs, I think. I think I'm an EMG guy, I decided. So I had to, I mean, for this, I had to turn up the gain to make it anywhere near the same as the EMG. And it just wasn't giving me the, the warm fuzzies that I was used to. So, we're going to change pickups again in this. Both of them. And all the electronics. Except for the selector switch. And the covers for the tone and volume pots. Because, thanks to eBay, what should have been £200. Some guy bought a set of pickups and didn't even open them. Though everything's still contained in the packets. And I got it for 130 off eBay. I can't believe it. Absolute bargain. Yes, EMG James Hetfields. Only, you know, what else was I going to buy, really? <laughs> Is it going to focus on that? No? Yeah, you can see it. So, I'm going to strip this down. Plug these in. I won't make a video of how this happened because there's hundreds of videos of people putting these things into guitars. And uh, what's good, I mean, you, with these, I don't know if you know about them, you can put them into any configuration of guitar, so it doesn't matter how many, you've got like a Les Paul with two volume, two tone, or one volume, three tone, two tone, or two tone, one volume, five way switch, three way switch, toggle switch, linear switch, all the instructions cater for all of that and how to do it. But I've seen some guy drilling into his PRS, I think it was, and putting all the switches in, it looked a mess. So I'm going to put, just keep it looking like that. Two, one volume, one tone, select a switch. And two goddamn James Hetfield EMGs. Right. But for now, let's have a little listen to what this pickup sounds like. <laughs> So, a day later, two days later, but it didn't take me that long. <laughs> Pickups are in, there we go. The Chapman ML3 Modern is now even more modern with active EMG headset. Lovely. The, um, the solderless connection activity <laughs> was so easy to do. The instructions were great. Really had a lot of fun doing it. I quite enjoyed it. The only time the grey matter to come in and play was with the um, you know, pickup selector. Not an EMG part. It's a Chapman part because you just obviously they don't know what pickup selector you're using. So I had to go online and uh, find a picture of it and find out what was connected to where. 
because I'm, you know, I'm not an expert in guitar wiring by any means. So found it, all went well, plugged it in and then realized, hang on a minute, <laughs> which way around did the pickup selector come? <laughs> so I'm there moving it back and forth, working out which wire. So that's now there, that's touching that, that was for the bridge pickup, blah, blah, blah. Put it in, I got it right. So it is in the right place, which is cool. So uh, yeah. It's in, they're in, and they look great. They do sound great, I've already um, heard a little play. So I'm going to plug it in and get some tones for you. Now. Yeah, it does clean. <laughs> Ooh, shimmering clean. No one's buying this for the clean though, are they? Get some dirt on. Absolutely. The tightness of that bottom end. That is such a good sound. It definitely chugs. It's uh, tight, really tight. And it's crisp as well. I mean, I have changed strings too. Obviously we're changing pickups, I've changed strings. Maybe they're obviously adding to the shimmering, shimmering, the shininess of it. But it could be just the pickups. Right, now it's just Plat Science and Metallica in drop D C. Wonder what it could be. <laughs> Managed to somehow press my poem spacebar while playing. Anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, everyone loves their anger. Really, it's deep down. <laughs> I must admit, I don't really know how to play it. <laughs> I know bits. So, what else can we know? Those um, sound really shimmery or bright and clearful. So it could be the new strings, could be these pickups. There's a combination of awesomeness going on. Really get that clarity into that sort of big bar from the low notes to the high notes and everything in between. Really, really nice. Really enjoying this. <laughs> Lot of fun. So, in in wrap up, Hetfield MEG headset, EMG headset, I should say. Really awesome. Really enjoying it. Can't wait for band practice next week. I'm going to destroy.
Mm -hmm. Tune's up. <coughs> really fun. Right. Anyway, enough silliness. I must admit, let me try this as well. That that volume. I'm not really tried it yet. How much does it roll off? It's like a bit down, but you know, I'm not one of those players that messes around with volumes. It's all or nothing. Who knows? It stays at 100, 10, whatever. Chug, chug, chug. Like it a lot. Right, enough synonymous. Thanks for watching. Please check out my band now it's connect. I'll leave a link down below. And come back for more, more guitar stuff, more covers, more reactions, more playthroughs, more whatever else I decide to do with this little channel of mine. And uh, yes, I'm going to carry on having fun with this blooming guitar and its new setup. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.